All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Just wanted to make a quick video on just an update of the niche website case study that we're using only AI software and products to create. So for the longest time, it's been over a month now. It's been about five weeks since we really launched the website. And let me just go to it real quick so you guys aren't staring at a Google search screen. But this is the site we created, Newbie Gardening. It now has about 140 plus pages on it, which it, let's just take a step back and just to think even six months to a year ago, even though we've had AI writers out for the last couple of years, even just getting to this point where you have over 100 published articles on a website, even using AI is still a, you know, a, an accomplishment and a milestone because even just think about it a few years ago, before all these AI tools, you could spend literally, and if you worked your butt off writing articles or hiring writers, it could take an entire year just to get to this point that we're at right now. And we've reached this point. We actually really reached this point, you know, after about three weeks or so. But we have plenty of articles on the website, right? We have a nice layout structure and so forth. I still need to build out some actual affiliate pages where people that come to the site and they click on some of these gardening tool guides and resources, and maybe we'll add a rev reviews section in here. Then that's what can actually start making money on the website. But for the longest time, we had indexing issues. Now, remember, I didn't know that this site had already been purchased. This domain had been purchased about a year prior, and it looked like it had some spammy backlinks on it. And of course, that was my bad, my mistake by picking up this site. That wouldn't be optimal, and I wouldn't rec recommend someone picking up a site that has already been registered that might have some spammy backlinks on it. But I don't think that a full-blown site was um, ever registered on it or anything like that. But long story short, I didn't. I also didn't think that this was going to impact me being able to index the site. But something weird was going on, and I had heard from a lot of people in just you know being in the network of SEO and niche website building that Google is taking a lot longer to index pages and index sites because more right now there's more pages being in, indexed every minute than ever before and so they are not getting to it as quick as they use, usually do right and we're talking about you know the difference between maybe getting indexed in a couple of days versus maybe now it might take a month or two just to get a page indexed if you don't do all the right things. But needless to say, for the longest time, I would come into Google over here and I would say site newbie gardening. And this is a kind of a good test. And this is all over the place. This was up to 240 yesterday, but then it went down to 130 and now we're at 99. But for the longest time, this right here, this 99 would just say seven. It was seven or eight the entire time. And now it is very, very refreshing to see that we are at the 100 mark right here, like I said, it this fluctuates all the time. Yesterday I checked it, there was 240. I don't have 240 pages even on the site. So a lot of those that get indexed right here are going to be tags. And I don't use tags either, but for whatever reason, you know, more, some pages get indexed multiple times, things like that. That happens. You don't really have any control over this. But for the first time, we have a bunch of pages finally indexing correctly. So this is starting to look really, really good. Very promising because once your site makes it to this point where you put in site colon and then your, and then your site, this tells me that this is actually what Google has, is putting in their indexing because this number right here is always going to be different than what Google Search Console tells you, which it has told me that I've had a lot more pages um, indexed on Google Search Console this entire time. But then this number here never reflected that, if that makes sense. So I guess the true test and when you're going to actually start getting rankings and your rank trackers and traffic, it really does matter. This test right here seems to be the final kind of sniff test, if you will. If you have a lot of pages indexing right here, then you can start showing up and actually ranking for these keywords. You can see we do have clicks impressions and positions and rankings. So really cool stuff. So I'm going to go and look at 
some of our rank trackers. So SE ranking on my subscription, I only can store up to, I think I have 230 keywords that I'm able to store. So we have more than that that we're tracking. So obviously I'm tracking it with SERP robot as well, but I do like to see both because SE ranking seems to pick up keywords pretty quickly as they happen as well. And I'm able to, I don't know how often, but I am able to refresh I'm able to check all those and or just go recheck all. And so right here, we'll just do that real quick. I think I've already done that today, but all you have to do is click over here and you're going to be able to see all these different rankings that we're getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 rankings. Let me go over here and open up a notepad. I'm just going to type in 15 in SE ranking. And then I'm going to go back up over here for fun. And we're going to go and recheck all. And we're going to recheck those. So when I'm doing that, while that's re re while that is rechecking those keywords, we'll go over here to SERP robot real quick. And this one, I really only have the ability to recheck this once a day, but this is SERP robot. And usually I have it on dark mode over here. Let's go to dark mode. I like dark mode better. And look at all of these right here, but I think it still is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this one's also picking up all those. We have a couple in here that are red, I believe. There's one red right there that we know this is going to pop back up and rank. We're, you know, some of these pages are still kind of bouncing in the not sandbox, but just kind of like the Google dance, if you will, they will come back. But it looks like we are now out of sandbox phase and we're starting to get some of these rankings. And look at these ones that actually do have volume that we are ranking for. Some of the keywords, the reason why a lot of the keywords I did not go for if they have volume or not, that's because a lot of these ones that have volume right here means that those were true, like traditional keyword research where these are actual keywords that people are typing in. And then on the ones that don't have any right here, but we're ranking, those are intentional as well. Those are things, the keywords that I got from either like chat GPT and things like that. So they're actually not keyword, traditional keywords that you would go out and get a, in a keyword research tool, if that makes sense. But it still is good to see that they are ranking and getting indexed right there, okay? So at the end of the day, we can come back up here and just click on the latest right here. And for the longest time, for over a month, you guys, I've only had one or two keywords right here. For the longest time, I had one keyword, the one about lettuce, how to preserve lettuce from the garden. This one ranked right out of the gates and it just stuck. And it was super, super strange because over the last, within the first week, that one ranked and and it ranked for like 30 keywords and it just, that was it. That was the only one that ranked. And then a whole month goes by and nothing else happens. Not one more keyword would rank on the site. And it just is very frustrating. And I don't think that that's normal. It should go faster than that. But I did reach out to the backlinks person, Sakit Wahi from Legit, and he volunteered to just go ahead and index my website. I don't know if that's going to be part of his, the service, but he offered to just go ahead and index my site. And literally overnight, the site got indexed. So he does have some magic sauce. He does have some magic things to do because he was able to go out. My site literally wasn't indexed. The moment he said, I'll have my team index your site, it, it, it literally got indexed within 24 hours. The entire site pretty much got indexed. So it was just really, really cool. They're also building backlinks to the site. So as we look at this and continue to add more content, the site is going to take off. And if we can get this to 5,000 visitors per month and so forth, and maybe start making a few bucks on the site, then that will be really, really cool. And this will be a huge success on this public case study. So again, super happy, some really, Really, really good positive movements movements on the site we're starting to get rankings we have eight keywords ranking in, in the top 30 over here out of 289 keywords I'll keep you guys posted but just wanted to give you that feedback that the site is finally indexed finally getting some rankings and I'm also adding more content I just wrote another hundred articles and we sent those over to the VA, to my VA, and they will be uploading them with images and doing all their SEO stuff as well and adding them to the website. So we're going to really build this. What I want to do is actually get a thousand articles on this gardening site so we can really know that we are covering the topic in full 
having that topic, topical authority and so forth. And, and then throw on the backlinks a program that we have on this. I think that, that we have a really good chance of making this site pretty successful. So I'll keep you guys posted. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you, if this is your first time watching this, I have an entire case study building this site from the ground up about a month ago. We're in about 13 or 13 videos in kind of like a free crash course on how to build a website. And I just giving that away for free for you guys, just to give back to the LearnWire community and say, Hey, thanks for always watching my videos and supporting the channel. All right. So I will see you guys in the next video.